And now, the general weather around Alaska. Looking at the uh, updated fire weather, fire weather update, uh, cooler and wetter conditions continue to move into Alaska from the west, and uh, that means thunderstorms are not very likely, and the driest fuels remain over the Yukon Flats. And the outlook continued cool, wet, and breezy conditions right through the weekend and probably into the first of next week. Fire danger for spruce tomorrow. Pretty blue here on this graphic, low everywhere except for the northwestern Kenai Peninsula. Have some high fire dangers there. And from that, moving on to satellite imagery, you can see a big batch of moisture, actually a big batch of clouds here, moving in across the central interior, spreading rain eastward during the day today into at least the Fairbanks area and starting to push even over toward the border and northward there toward the southern eastern Brooks Range area. This front trails back to the southwest here with uh, precipitation in toward Bristol Bay, the Alaska Peninsula, and eastern Aleutians. And this band right here brought a few isolated showers to the North Gulf Coast today into the northern panhandle with uh, a little bit more sunshine down toward the south. And then that rain becoming showery and tapering off here behind the front out to the uh, west coast. Another weak front right through here, uh, really not amounting to too much. Uh, you can just make it out right through here, mostly not too much in the way of any middle or high level cloudiness with it until you get down here toward the western Aleutians. So there is a pretty solid band of rain associated with it currently. That's uh, depicted by the front out here from the western Aleutians on up across the western Bering Sea. This front bringing areas of rain from the eastern Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula right on up here and into the warm front there over the eastern interior back to the west northwest to the arctic coast areas of light rain along the eastern arctic coast not too much over the eastern north slope though and a partly sunny day starting out for south central alaska cook inlet becoming cloudy this afternoon as clouds uh, spread eastward here but uh, sunshine across kodiak island in toward southern cook inlet and a few breaks over the copper river basin isolated showers around uh, Cordova, eastern North Gulf Coast, on over to Yakutat and the northern Panhandle. For tonight, this front uh, really weakens as it hits the Alaska Range here, but holds together, keeping periods of rain over the central and eastern part of the state. Scattered showers back to the west with uh, still breezy west-southwest winds, mostly southwest winds here, anywhere from 15 to 30 miles an hour. A little brisker there ahead of the front over the mountainous terrain to the east side. And areas of light rain extend down into the Alaska Peninsula and eastern Aleutians. Still look for a lot of low clouds and fog over the, uh, in between these two systems with this front weakening here, but it'll be continued foggy with low clouds, IFR flying conditions, Perviloff Islands down into the Aleutians and northward toward the Bering Strait. And then for Friday, that front here really weakens, just a weak trough here with some scattered areas of showers, light rain or drizzle associated with it from the Seward Peninsula down to the Pribilofs and then staying mostly north of the Aleutian chain there, isolated showers over the southeast bearing into the Alaska Peninsula with another weak disturbance there and dry over the western interior. So a drier day coming up tomorrow than what we saw today, even for the eastern interior, just uh, scattered showers there. Kind of a uh, sort of wet day, Prince William Sound there into the North Gulf Coast. Panhandle not too bad, partly to mostly sunny in the south, isolated showers possibly in the north, and a band of rain here associated with that trough from the Arctic coast down to the Brooks Range. And then for uh, Saturday, actually what's going on here with this high over the eastern Gulf of Alaska, actually covering the Gulf, southwest flow starts taking some of this moisture here northward and redevelops a frontal boundary that will be in about this position Saturday afternoon right along the Alaska Range, so it looks good for periods of rain into south central Alaska, into Prince William Sound, northward right through the central interior and expanding west to about Kotzebue, all the way over toward the main low center there to the eastern Brooks Range and Arctic coast with another round of increasing clouds and increasing chances of rain for the far eastern interior. Otherwise not too bad again for the panhandle and pretty quiet out over the Bering Sea, just a really weak thing out here, bringing a chance of some light rain, fog, and drizzle in toward uh, Adak and Atka. Lows for tonight, uh, 30s for the Arctic coast, 40s for the North Slope into the Brooks Range, otherwise 40s and 50s 
everywhere else here, including the southeast coast, lower 50s there. Highs tomorrow in the 60s for the Panhandle, 60 to 65 south central, well actually across all of southern Alaska and uh, into the central interior. 50s for the Brooks Range, 40s for the North Slope, 30s and 40s for the highs for the Arctic coast, and nearer into the lower 50s for the Aleutians and the Bering Sea. And then lows following morning, uh, 30s, North Slope, Arctic coast, and uh, 40s here, lower 40s out to St. Lawrence Island, the Pribloff, Southwest coast, otherwise 40s and 50s for the remainder of uh, the state. And highs, 65 to 70, maybe a little bit of a recovery, but not too much there for the east side. And then uh, closer to 60 in the central interior, 50s back out to the west till you get to the Bering Sea and back into the 40s there, right around 50 for St. Paul and 50s to near 60 for south central Alaska. Temperatures into the 60s for the Panhandle, pushing 70 down toward Craig, Klawak, and Heidelberg.